Live view feels faster with a delay loading indicator. Okay, too fast. Uh, there's a recipe about making your live view app feel faster. You can also make your app faster by running it on Fly.io. <laughs> oh, advertisement by Fly.io. <laughs> you know, the easiest way to make it faster based on the article we're currently writing is uh, you just uh, load it right here. Man, I wish I had a, I wish I was sponsored right now. This would have been such a great moment for a sponsorship. Live view is already fast. Couple that with hosting it on Fly.io where the server can be physically uh, or can physically closer to your users and you're already got a great experience. However, the default setup for a new live view application displays the top bar progress indicator across the top page, making the whole page feel like it's not ready. Here's a quick tip to making it this so much better. Okay, problem. By default, live view ships with the top bar to visually show that the, okay, you've already stated this, come on. The problem is that when you see a progress bar, uh, my brain tells me the page isn't ready yet. Even if the progress bar only takes 100 milliseconds to quickly flash across the top, my brain still says the page isn't ready yet. Absolutely. I get that. I get that. I, you know, that little bar does drive me nuts. I'm totally on that. Uh, the page is fully rendered and could start, let's see, and I could start using the page, but it feels like I can't just because there's a quick flash of a progress bar on top. Why not just get rid of the progress display altogether? Well, it's actually really helpful for those times when a page is taking longer to load for a user. In those situations, we want to let the user know. Yep, uh, Google does this, it's still super annoying. Uh, so if we, let's see, so if it's worth keeping the progress display, is there a way to make the top bar only display when it actually needs to? Uh, can it only show if it's uh, taking more time to set up the page? Okay, cool. Oh, look at this, luckily, Jose Valim shared uh, this tip. Jose, if you don't know, he may know a thing or two about Elixir. Uh, there's a story by Shy Ryan here where one of his coworkers uh, rejected a PR by Jose. It's a great story. Uh, anyways, Live View Installation Guide. However, if you're like me, you already have a Live View project that doesn't have this change. Fortunately, it's easy to do right now. It's less than five minutes I made a change, deployed my app, and now the Live View page feels uh, so much more responsive. Giga Chat didn't like it. Uh, let's look at how to add this existing app. All right, here we go. Uh, in the project's app.js file, it might look like this. Okay, so here's what you normally do. I've never really used Live View. Uh, I've never really used Phoenix. I've never really used Elixir. So, you know, uh, let's see. Replace that code with something like this. Okay, here we go. Here's what we should have. All right, awesome. Uh, top bar config colors this thing right here. Top bar scheduled undefined. Uh, add event listener. Load start. If top bar not scheduled, schedule it for 120 milliseconds. Add event listener. Stop. Uh, clear timeout this one. This one, hide. Oh, clever. Okay, so it's just like a little bit of JavaScript. That's all you got to do. You just simply are, if it's not there, you schedule it to happen. If it is there, you do that. You only show it after a certain amount of time. It's pretty clever, right? This is actually a pretty clever little thing to do. Uh, basically, it only shows uh, the top bar at all if it's taking longer than 120 milliseconds. All right, let's look at this for a second. Okay, see how fast that feels? Doesn't that just feel slower? Isn't that just the strangest thing? Doesn't that just feel really slow? How does this feel? It's identical, yet it feels so dang slow. <laughs> it's like, what? Look at that guy. Why does that feel so much faster? It's the same thing. <laughs> Why? That's odd. The difference. I know it's because, I mean, well, it, it just goes to show. I, I say this phrase quite frequently, quite frequently, which is perceptions nine tenths of the law, right? Which is in so many situations, no matter how fast you're moving, I worked at this company a long time ago called Workiva, and we are working on their very first version of their product that they use everywhere now. So I built like the foundation for it, and it was a displayer for um, like their application, new HTML5, all JavaScript, all that kind of stuff. And so one of the hard parts about that is that it was a complete rewrite of the application that was 10 years old. And so it was extremely hard. A lot of edge cases. This was JavaScript over 10 years ago, okay? Grunt was just coming out at that point. 
Think about it. We only just started having some defined process. I built the grunt build procedures. I built the zooming in, zooming out with your fingers on the iPad. Yes, we wrote it in JavaScript. Uh, effectively, I shortcutted. I took all the matrix of calculations and just simply removed all the zeros and just made it an inline formula, all that kind of stuff to make everything work. And... I remember that it was we were making incredible progress. We were committing like thousands of lines of code a day. It was awesome. And yet management, upper management was like, why isn't this going faster? And my boss at the time was defending us. And he's like, actually, it's moving much faster than you realize. The reason why it's uh, the reason why is because of all these reasons. And then he came back and told me is that sometimes it's not about how fast you move. It's about how fast you're perceived to move. And that matters way, way more. So plan what you're doing in such a way that you can always show progress, even if it's the simplest things. And so what, one thing I really took away from that is that whenever you're doing show and tells, whenever you're doing something, plan a couple small items to show amazing progress, even if they're half-baked, even if they're small, even if they're not like really meaningful, you just want to show various progress steps. So that way you can focus on the main thing but you need something to kind of show basically something's happening, basically consulting. So I don't know. It was a really interesting thing for me because I've always just kind of defaulted to doing that now. So whenever I'm doing a refactor, I also have some basic kind of things I like to do. Like, okay, I know that people really wanted like this feature. It's going to take like 20 minutes. It's super low priority, but I'm going to do it just so I can mention it, just so I can show the dang thing because really what I want to focus on is this newer, lower memory approach because my servers keep falling over due to out of memory, blah, blah, blah. That's going to take two weeks of really hard thought, but I just simply need to do a couple things to show people I'm moving, right? It's just a weird, it's a weird place to be. And this is like, this is the most palpable version of it. This is what you, this is what you're doing. It feels slow and it sucks and people think it's slower. This is the same thing, but people think it's fast. Why? Perception, and that is it. The beauty of the solution is that my brain now has no progress bar movement, making it feel like it's not ready. The funny thing is that the page rendered and displayed to the user, even if it takes 100 milliseconds to set up the WebSocket and receive the page's loading stop event, as a visitor, I just have been presented with a whole new page. It takes only a moment for my brain to adjust and orient itself to, uh, to the new page. Additionally, it takes a moment to move my mouse uh, or my finger to actually interact with the page. Exactly. By the time I actually react, it's fully loaded and ready for me. This change makes it feel instantaneous. Only uh, It's only perception, but perception is what makes it feel slow or fast. If the page takes more time to set up, the top progress uh, is displaying, letting uh, the user know. Most of the time, though, the user will never see it. Awesome. This is great. This is Flyo, this is a really incredible article. I actually thought this article was going to be pretty doo-doo to begin with. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was just like one big like, hey, here's a super cool, very specific tip. But it's like a super broad tip that you can use anywhere. Absolutely love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The name is the Primogen.